Well, hello there. I'm Schwach. And recently, I made a video detailing how to uncap the frame rate in Doom 3. This is a reshoot of that video. There are a couple things that I missed that I wanted to go over in this video. So I'm going to take the time and do that and clean up the tutorial just a little bit and show you how to, once again, uncap the frame rate in Doom 3 and do it in a way where the game is actually playable and it actually works. So we're not going to be using the com underscore fixed tick minus one console command that no doubt you may have found if you've been searching Google or searching for ways to remove the engine frame rate limit in Doom 3. We're going to do this using the Doom 3 source port and a community made hotfix for said source port. Now, there is a note real quick about that community made hotfix. It's community made. So it isn't perfect. One thing to note about that is while playing Doom 3 with that um, frame rate hotfix applied, whatever your target frame rate or refresh rate is, so for example, if your monitor's native refresh rate is 144 hertz, then your target uh, frame rate would be 144 FPS. Sometimes when you're playing the game, as you're playing just kind of randomly, um, your frame rate may go from your target frame rate or refresh rate down to 20 or in the mid 20s. I suspect this is due to some sort of memory leak. I don't know, I'm not sure, I didn't create it, I didn't compile it, no idea, not gonna pretend to know, that's just my speculation. That said, if that happens, it doesn't really happen very often, it happened to me a few times during my playthrough, so it's noteworthy, and if that does happen to you, I'm gonna show you how to fix that real quick before I show you how to install the mods. All right, so let's do that. All right, so real quick, in the event that you do get the FPS bug, I'm gonna show you what to do, it's real easy. If I switch scenes here, you can see that my FPS is fallen to that 20s category I was talking about, and you can see it's visibly very choppy. All right, so all you need to do is just simply hit your quick save key, as I've done there, exit the game. I'm gonna go back to our Doom Launcher, relaunch the game, go back to our quick save, load it and continue playing just as you normally would. And it's just that, and you can fix it just that quick. Again, this bug is kind of random. I suspect it's due to a memory leak, but you can see now we're back to crispy, smooth gameplay. And that's all you need to do. All right, now let's go get started and installing these mods. All right. So to get these mods installed, the procedure I'm gonna be showing you is for the Steam version of the game. This will work with the CD version of the game and its expansion provided that you've updated them to the correct version noted by the Doom 3 source port um, readme and dev team. However, 99% of you watching this are likely going to be using the Steam version, so that's what we're gonna be using. Also doing it for the CD version is painful, so just do it this way and be happy. So once you get Doom 3 and if you want Resurrection of Evil, the first thing you need to do is just simply just launch and run Doom 3. All right, you don't need to do anything crazy. We're just gonna start the game, go to the main menu, make sure we don't have any old saves or anything like that. This should be empty to prevent um, overwrites or corrupted saves from happening. It's best to start on a clean slate and then just exit the game. And we're just gonna repeat that process with Resurrection of Evil. So we're just gonna click on it and run it using the Steam Launcher. Make sure that it loads in, check for any old saves. We don't have any, that's good. So now we can get started modding the game. So what we're gonna be using really are two mods and then two hot fixes for each mod. So the first mod is gonna be the Doom 3 source port and then the FPS uh, patch, community made FPS patch for the Doom 3 source port. And then the second mod that we're gonna be using is the Redux 2.0 mod and then the update. Uh, there's just uh, some, some minor bug fixes and enhancements made. So we're gonna be grabbing that update and applying that as well to the Redux mod. So what you need to do is go and grab all of your mods using the links that I've provided in the video description. And once you've downloaded them to wherever it is you want to save them, doesn't really matter, go ahead and unzip everything. So we have our Doom 3 source port. So this is the Doom 3 version 151 source port. 
the FPS uh, unlock patch. And then we have our Redux mod and the Redux mod update. Now, just a quick note, you need to use version 151 for the Doom 3 source part if you plan on using the unlocked FPS patch. This FPS patch will not work with version 152 of the Doom 3 source port, which at the timing or the, the at the time of the filming of this video, uh, the current version is 152. It won't work with that version. And I've tested it with previous versions, doesn't work with those either. So just go and grab 151. That's what the EXE here was compiled to run with. So there's two ways that you can install the mod. The first way is you can go into your Doom 3 uh, source port directory. So your 151 directory that you unzipped. And you'll see this. And what you can do is you can copy over some files from the Doom 3 base folder on Steam into the source port base folder here. This is what I would refer to as a standalone installation install. This is good if you're worried about Steam overwriting anything, if you make any changes to anything on Steam. In the past, I've had issues where some files can get overwritten. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and doing the standalone way will prevent that from happening. Um, or the alternative way, which I'm going to show you here, is just, uh, which is really the easiest way, we're just going to highlight all of the folders here. Do not highlight the D3 uh, expansion or XP folder or the base folder, just our actual files here. We're gonna right click on them, click on copy. We're gonna come over to our Doom 3 folder in Steam. So you're gonna go to wherever you have Steam installed and then you're gonna browse to Steam apps, common, and then Doom 3. We're gonna go in there and then we're gonna right click inside here and say paste. We'll get this little prompt here asking us to replace the files in the destination. We'll click yes to that and that's it. So now we've got the source port installed. Now we need to go and apply the FPS uh, patch to this. I'm just gonna back out to where I have the FPS patch unzipped. So here's my unzipped fo uh, folder here. So I'm just gonna double click on that and we're just gonna pretty much do the same thing. So we're gonna right click or uh, excuse me, highlight all the files here, right click, copy. We're gonna go back over here to the uh, Doom 3 folder in Steam, and we're gonna right click and paste. And same thing, replace the files in the destination. And so now we've got the Doom 3 source port and the FPS patch uh, installed and applied. So we can see our Doom 3 source port exe here. I like to make life a little bit easier, so I'm just gonna send that to the desktop and create a shortcut. So we're just gonna minimize these uh, directories for now. I'm gonna go over here and just rename this. There we go, so I know what this is. And now we're just simply going to start and run it. All right. So the next thing you wanna do is come into your menu and make sure that everything here is applied correctly so that your screen resolution is correct. So in my case, it auto detected it correctly. I'm playing on a 1080p monitor running at 240 Hertz. So that is all correct. Turn on EAX if you so choose. Set to ultra quality if your PC can handle it, which any modern PC should be able to. Uh, one note in here, vertical sync, make sure you have that toggled on for this FPS patch and you'll apply those changes. Now, for those of you watching this video, your FPS likely isn't going to be already um, running at the correct fresh rate. So in that case, you're just going to drop down the console and type in com underscore game, capital H, lowercase z, space, and then your target frame rate, which should be equal to your monitor's native refresh rate. So in my case, my monitor's native refresh rate is 240 hertz. So I would change that to 240 and press enter, close the console, exit the game. Once that's done. We're just going to relaunch the game. And that should be all you need to do. And you can see we're good to go here. And just to prove that this does work, I'm just going to go ahead and change mine from 240. And another common uh, refresh rate is 144. So I'm just going to change it to that just to demonstrate this works. Restart the game. 
and you can see I'm now at 144 FPS for a 144 Hertz monitor. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and change this back to 240. Exit the game. And now we need to install the Redux mod. So we're going to bring up our Doom 3 directory in Steam. And then we're going to go back to where, wherever you have, wherever you saved your mods and unzip the, the uh, mod folders. And you're going to find your Redux 2.0 RC build. And then the build I'm using in this case is 2412.19 at the time of uh, making this video. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to go in here, mod installation, and this Redux folder, I'm going to right click, copy. I'm going to come over here to my Doom 3 uh, directory on, from Steam. And I'm going to right click and paste that bad boy right in there, just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is this Redux uh, folder. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna come back over here to my Redux insta uh, install folder, or excuse me, mod folder. And you need to go back out one, one directory and go to this mod options folder here. And you need to come to this compatibility hotfix here for the Doom 3 source port. And these two files here, you're just going to simply, well, actually this file here, you're gonna right click, copy, and paste. This one here is, is an alternate crosshair for Doom 3. Personally, I like it. So if you choose to use the alternate crosshair, just come over here to the vanilla Doom 3 crosshair, uh, PK4 file, right click, rename, come to the end of the PK4, and I'm just going to name it dot backup, just like that. And the reason that we're doing this is if you decide to go back, all you need to do is just delete the uh, revised crosshair and just change this back to uh, .pk4, just remove the .backup and you're good to go. So once you've done that, we're going to come back here and we're going to uh, right click on the alternate crosshair and copy and paste that in there just like that. And the last thing that we need to do is go grab our Redux update which is right here. So Redux RC update number one, and then patch installation. So we'll go to Redux and just grab these two files here. So I'm gonna right click copy, go in here, right click paste. It's gonna say, it's gonna ask you if you wanna replace the files. Once again, we're gonna do that. So click yes to that and that's it. So now we have the source port and the Redux mods installed. So now we can launch Doom. And then to get into the Redux mod, just simply click on the mods uh, button down here, find Doom 3 Redux and click load mod. Now, the first time you load the Redux mod, it may take a while. So you may see just sit here on a black screen like this for the, you know, however long, depending on your PC and whatnot. Um, don't worry, the game's working. Just give it time and it'll load in as it just did there. So now we have the new UI, the new crosshair. And that's how you know you're in the Redux uh, mod. So before you get started, I recommend just go and just quickly look over your um, video settings, make sure everything is still uh, good there. So you're on your screen's native refresh rate or excuse me, resolution. Display mode, make sure that is on full screen. One quick note about this field of view option, you can change it, but every time you relaunch the mod, uh, it defaults back to 90. So if you wanna keep it at 95 or 100 or 110 or whatever field of view you're gonna use, I would recommend just throwing the um, field of view command in the auto executable for the Redux mod. And then that way it's on your desired field of view every time you launch the game. I'm gonna come over here to my graphics tab, just make sure everything looks good there. It does. I'm just gonna click apply. I'm going to go in here and kind of like before, I'm just going to delete that previous save. Just start fresh, go to campaign and just click here if you want to cycle through the difficulties. So when you find your desired difficulty, go ahead and just click new game and that's it. You're off and running and now you can play Doom 3 and play it in a way that where it's slightly updated uh, and makes it feel like it was made sometime in the last couple years, but without completely ruining the intended look and feel of Doom 3. This just allows us to bring it into the modern era, era and just really appreciate Doom 3. As you can see, everything's working. 
We got slightly updated. I don't know how well it'll come through on the video here, but slightly updated textures. And I mean, it's just buttery smooth. So actually what I'll do just to prove to you that it is working is um, go into, where is it? I think it's, yeah, gameplay and show frame rate. Just toggle that on. You can see, like return to game, playing at 240 FPS on a 240 hertz monitor and it is just buttery smooth and amazing. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. Now, there is one last thing you can do for those of you who desire EAX to run on this mod and I'm going to show you that real quick. It's going to exit the Redux mod and I'm going to go back to the Doom 3 uh, base directory on Steam, go into the Redux directory and right click and say edit on the auto executable config. And if you want to enable EAX, you're going to come down here to these two lines, EAX reverb, change it from zero to one. And this max sounds per shader, change that from zero to one. Now I'm going to also link down in the video description, a doom three tweak guide from back in the day. Um, that, concisely explains what this parameter does here. If you have any issues with this parameter or just toggling AX on in general, just come back in here, change them back both to zero, but I've never had any issues and I don't know anybody that has had issues with these two parameters. So I say, if you enjoy the EAX reverb, toggle them on, save, close, launch the game and play away with EAX. And that's it. That's how you mod Doom 3 and bring it into the modern era. So the source port for modern resolutions, giving it uh, you know, the update it needs to, to support modern monitors, the FPS patch to support uh, modern refresh rates and, and frame rates. Um, so huge shout out to the Doom 3 source port community for creating that. Um, Again, I think that little FPS bug, that memory leak, whatever that is, I think it's a small price to pay for being able to enjoy Doom in this way. And then with the Redux mod on top of it, just slightly updating the textures and making them slightly higher resolution and adding even more widescreen monitor support. I mean, it's awesome. And it, it works. It almost feels like this is how Doom 3 was made and that it was released this way within the last few years. And in my opinion, it looks, feels, and plays better than a lot of modern AAA titles. So there you go. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next.